pine down by the crane on site, a paramedic riding in the basket with him before he was taken to the hospital. That is really pretty far up there. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> Those first responders are heroes. I'm do telling anything. you, you just that never know. Yeah, every day it's something new. <laughs> well, as we continue to watch the leftover Florence, you know, it's still churning down through the Carolinas. Some rain's now shifting to the western Carolinas, southwestern Virginia, and we're going to get a little of this action over the next uh, day or and a half or so. And it depends on what model you look at, but I think anywhere from half an inch to an inch or so in the metro area, some spots could get two plus inches, especially west of town, as this moisture lifts northward. And you can see the bands of rain here on the backside. Some of them still even near Wilmington. Now, some last little pieces here as this system continues to circulate northward, heading into southwestern Virginia and western Carolinas and even into West Virginia. Futurecast shows this moisture lifting northward. And notice as we head towards tomorrow morning, some heavier showers, Blacksburg over towards Harrisonburg and Stanton and down through the valley. Around here in the city, a few spotty showers are possible to start off tomorrow morning. But the bulk of that heavy rain does look to be focused just to the west and it could cause some issues out there, especially with the higher elevations, the ridge tops, and, and all that water coming down the mountain slopes could lead to some issues. So we're going to, have to keep an eye on that through the day tomorrow. But we'll start off with a few spotty showers and clouds. We've done this the last couple of days. Let's be honest. Each day has started off pretty much the same. Even a little fog in some spots, but I think we'll have a little bit enough of a steady easterly wind again that not as much in the way of fog, but be prepared to have your rain gear as you head out the door tomorrow morning into the midday. Some periods of rain. Notice these yellows and orange pockets could be some moderate to heavy rain and temperatures will work their way in upper 70s to low 80s, but we'll have periods of rain off and on. Notice at six o'clock tomorrow afternoon, some heavier rain showers from southeast to northwest will have pockets of rain pushing through even tomorrow night into Tuesday. In fact, uh, Tuesday morning, the better chance for some showers into the middle of the day, but by Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, all indications are that the drier weather will eventually start to move in from the north and west. So some showers could roll through through early afternoon, but by later on Tuesday, I'm hopeful we actually get some sunshine before that sun sets and some nicer, nicer weather starts to emerge. Models continue to update, as I mentioned, three quarters of inch of rain possibly downtown, roughly an inch from Leesburg. <coughs> excuse me, to about three quarters in Andrews, but notice some heavier pockets off to the west. So that's what we'll be watching for as we head through the day tomorrow. Some showers potentially in the morning and then some scattered showers and even some thunder potential later through the afternoon. Cooler with the showers on Monday and Tuesday, but still above that average, which is now 80. But by later in the week, when we get back into the sunshine, we could get into the mid 80s as temperatures start to peak as we head toward Friday. The warmest day of the week right now looks to be Friday, which is fitting. Friday, the last day of summer, because as we head into Saturday, 9.54 p.m. to be exact, autumnal equinox, that's when we are switching our seasons in fall will commence. So we'll be a little cooler for the first day of fall on Sunday. Bottom line is tomorrow off and on showers on Tuesday. Anytime we get rain, it can be troublesome around here. The biggest impact should be to the west, but nonetheless, I'm sure it'll be some slow traffic. Mm. Okay, you know, I, I have a, a new perspective on the weekends. <coughs> it, it was a stumble. That's what it was. All, it was just a stumble. Just a bump in the road. They can come back. Everyone has those, but sometimes it can total your car. But Let's Obi was there. Oh. Okay. Obi was there. Yes, he was. That made it better. Disappointing day, though, at FedEx. The Redskins fall to the Colts. Not the way you want to open up at home. By the way, the stadium was half empty. Forgot to mention that. Just a weird day. That's coming up next in sports. Dinner time, Drew. You can play with Justin again tomorrow. Told you moving wouldn't be so bad. Yep. Later, dude. Whatever tomorrow's technology, you'll be ready. Because Cox is building a new gig speed network to bring you the Internet of the future. Your home, your style. The Capital Home Show. September 21st through 23rd at the Dulles Expo Center. With hundreds of experts all under one roof, this is the place to find great deals, new ideas, and practical advice. See McLean's own Vern Yip from TLC's Trading Spaces. Plus, get bold decor ideas at the Design Home, presented by Revitalized Design. From kitchens and baths to flooring and more, the Capital Home Show. September 21st through 23rd. Buy tickets online and save at CapitalHomeShow.com. Is your house less than perfect? I'm Dan from Market Pro Home Buyers, and we want to buy your home. My husband and I were faced with the decision of what to do with my father's home. The house required a lot of work. 
That's when I found Market Pro Home Buyers. Dan visited our home and within minutes he gave us a quote. It was so easy. Dan even helped pay to pack and move us. Market Pro Home Buyers truly helped my family when we did not know what to do. Call us today at 301 750 7355. Traffic Watch 7 is our way of keeping you ahead of traffic so you can commute better, save time, save headaches, and save money. It's Team Traffic on your side to help find which turn and a good alternative to 95 right now. Which side road, which highway to take. On the maps with Julie Wright. Mobile Track the first on the scene. On the roads with Mobile Track 7. It's stop and go here on 270. And in your car with the new Traffic Watch. Watch 7 app. Traffic Watch 7 on your side, no matter where you go. Toyota Sports Desk, brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. So it was all good just a week ago. Redskins beat the Cardinals 24-6 on the road last Sunday. So Redskins fans are like, oh, we might have something here.